How does Money Heist connect to Berlin? Money Heist is back. Last Friday, Netflix released the prequel to Money Heist, focusing on the story of one of the main characters, Berlin. It is set in an undefined past, before the events of Money Heist. The prequel, which bears his name, focuses on Berlin in his prime, as he pulls off one of the most extraordinary heists of his career as a robber, stealing 44 million euros worth of jewels, as if it were an act of illusionism. But what will happen in season two? Will Berlin's deadly illness be discussed? Will Camille be the cause of the conflicts Berlin will face in season two? In this video, we'll be talking about what happened in this season and what we could expect in a second season. And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Oasis Geek. Money Heist was so successful that fans of the series were left wanting to see more. And finally, Netflix has given us a prequel called Berlin, which consists of eight episodes in the first season. But before we talk about the Berlin series, we must understand this character's involvement in Money Heist. In the original series, this character is presented as charismatic, elegant, and fine. And despite his guts and feats, he is a very delicate character, with a very strong presence, and above all, great leadership. Money Heist is a Spanish series, with notoriety on an international scale. After the first season was released on Netflix, the story tells us the adventures of the professor and his team of thieves, which includes Berlin. Before joining the robbers of the Royal Mint of Spain, Berlin was a jewel thief, as shown in the series Berlin. With 27 robberies under his name in jewelry stores, auction houses, and armored cars. His biggest robbery, before the Royal Mint of Spain, was 434 diamonds on the Champs-Élysées in Paris. Later, he was diagnosed with a rather serious illness, known as Helmer's myopathy, as seen on Money Heist. At some point in his life, he was recruited by his stepbrother to be the leader of the greatest robbery in history. He was trained on various things along with his fellow robbers and learned all the ins and outs of the heist. In the prequel, we enter the stage where he is executing the jewel robberies. A robbery that was planned down to the last and smallest detail, so that everything would go smoothly. But like everything else, when it comes to a group of people united for the same purpose, the way of being of each individual may not fit among all of them. Since they always have different ways of thinking. Or there is someone who is more risky, adventurous, or who does not care about important matters like the others. In some cases, as we could see in Money Heist with the Professor, weakness comes and ruins the plans. He falls in love with his great rival, Raquel Murillo, the inspector in charge of solving the criminal matter, the big robbery. All this opens the door for mistakes to be made, and in these types of robberies, any small mistake would be a serious mistake at the end of the day. Returning to the Berlin series, we could see how the band of robbers was organized to begin the plan to steal a set of 64 jewels valued at 44 million euros. This gang of robbers is composed of Berlin, Kila, Damien, Cameron, Roy, and Bruce. They all did a good job executing everything planned for the robbery. But some of them were irresponsible, and at times when they were not working on the robbery, they did things out of personal desires, and the repercussions of those acts caused problems. The same ones that caused not everything to go as planned. The important thing was that they got out of all those mistakes unscathed, except for one. The first mistake was the communication between them. When there were issues that affected the course of the plan, such as when the priest took the chalice of the fourth century, which affected the mission since they needed to be in the church, because it was from there that they would reach the place of the robbery, in an underground and stealthy way. For whims that had nothing to do with the robbery, Berlin did not take care of the problem as it should, and sent Roy to take care of the matter at any cost. Another mistake made because of those whims was when Roy went out with Cameron to have a good time, basically drawing attention to himself, which they should avoid at all costs, and that's why they lost a necklace, valued at more or less 4 million euros. 
But, a very serious mistake was made, which was undoubtedly the biggest mistake of all. And the worst thing is that it came from Berlin. When Berlin sees Camille, the wife of the jewelry keeper, he falls in love with her, to the point that he breaks his own rules of not getting romantically entangled with anyone during a mission. Because Berlin is obsessed with her, he will continue to carry that weight on the second season, since she found out that Berlin was the one behind the robbery. That is, she knows that Berlin is the one to blame for her husband being in jail right now. Camille then extorts Berlin, saying that he has to give her money for her silence. Although Berlin is very clever and is somehow able to eliminate the proof of the evidence that Camille collected, she still knows the truth and may pose a great threat, because when she finds out, she threatens to turn him in. Berlin not only manages to get rid of Camille's evidence, but also manages to neutralize the threat in exchange for much of the loot. The result of losing that amount of money makes Berlin approach his great friend Damien, the genius of the plan, which in this series would come to be something similar to the professor, and asks him to plan another robbery. Now, what will happen in the next season of Berlin? Although the producers have not yet said if a second season of this series is coming, the development of the plot suggests the possibility of continuing the story. Of course, this depends on the boom that the series may have. And for that same reason, the platform usually waits a few weeks to analyze the public's response, and according to the results of the series on those test weeks, is that they decide whether to renew or terminate a series. But analyzing the plot and the development of the series, I think we could have one more season, and on this one, Berlin finds out about his illness, and perhaps this aspect will be one of the central elements of the next season, on how Berlin could face this new disease. This season would follow Berlin's request to his friend Damien, to reunite the gang, rob again, and give another big hit. Perhaps during this new heist of the second season, Berlin begins to look for a cure for his illness. Most likely, it will be in another country in Europe, since they saw that on that heist they did in Paris, they were exposed a lot for those mistakes that were made. In my opinion, if we have another season of Berlin, this one will present us with the moment in which Berlin finds out about that disease, and the plot will give weight to that situation. Since in Money Heist, this disease was very important in the plot, but left us with many questions and desires to know more, because although the detail of his disease was important, not much was explained about what he was facing. But tell me what you think about all this. Would you like to see a second season of Berlin? Do you think Camille will be a big problem in the second season? Do you think Berlin will find out about his illness in the second season? Will we see Palermo again? And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Oasis Geek.